the unmoved mover, the light that shone brightest over the golden epoch of human existence, the electrically charged god that manifested over a very long period of time and influenced our entire civilization so much that it triggered a cultural response that we've all forgotten about, despite it still being evident in our lives today. Wait till you hear this. Our most curious thinkers seek out anomalous answers that the scientific minds may have missed or simply misunderstood. Our inquisitive discovery inspires human imagination. It expands our vision of ourselves and of the world around us. It allows us to consider the electric universe. Encouraged by new possibilities are those most likely to develop into critical thinkers and innovators. They are the guarantors of tomorrow's advances in science, and yet, science and religion have blinded our thoughts in a titanic battle of the ages. But what if they are both completely mistaken? Take away the inspiration of discovery and you diminish the sense of personal connection to the scientific adventure. Among young people today, a catastrophic decline of interest in science has already occurred. But how did this happen? When science fails to inspire students, how much of the responsibility rests with the teacher and how much could be due to the loss of scientific vision or the rise of sterile dogma or a cultural failure to see new frontiers for what they are? Is it possible that the celebrated Big Bang was just a mathematician's guess? How accurate is our grand picture of the cosmos? If 20th century science embraced mistaken ideas about the forces that drive the universe, what is the cost to the institutions of science? What is the cost to the larger communities that support the basic research? What is the cost to our educational systems? We have been told for decades that at its core, the sun is a controlled hydrogen bomb, but a different view of our sun is emerging. With more than 100 years of laboratory experiment and a steady stream of space age discoveries now supporting the ancient alternative view, its proponents say that the electric field of the sun, though immeasurably weak across a few metres, extends for billions of miles from the sun. The total charge within the heliosphere could suffice to light the sun electrically. That is a testable hypothesis, but the test will require innovators who want to know the truth. This is the path to truth. The petroglyphs are unmistakable all around the world, and the squatter man question is the perception of an ancient observer. Consider the assimilation of thought, the catastrophic separations that occurred globally. On the deepest scientific questions, this will expose our conditioned layers of thought and perception. This is how we begin to see the accumulating evidence for what it is. It's almost like nature itself is calling us on a sweeping intellectual revolution of hidden thought.